I got to ask you as a Houston native, yeah. right? And j- just keep it real with me. Yeah. Um, screwed and chop, right? Uh-huh. Um, they don't, well, at least I don't see it on my radar as far as new Houston artists making screwed and chop CDs. Yeah. Do you miss that phase at all? Not from the new artists, because I just go back and listen to the classics. I don't want to hear a new artist rapping like he from 1995 and 96. I'll be 2000. We had that, that time has came. It's legendary forever. We love it forever. If you want to go back and mix some of that old school flavor up, you maybe chop up your hook. We always going to have the lingo. It's going to always be embedded in us. But you coming out sounding like it's 1998 and shit. Stuff <laughs> a nigga, I done came down. That's the immediate. If you freestyling for the culture one time on a song or a mixtape, you know, just to pay homage, that's cool. But if that's the type of music you gonna make all around, nah, my nigga, we ain't trying to hear that shit. But, you gotta blend it. You gotta mix the old with the new and come up with some new so sauce. We, so you want it, so you just want it to evolve. You don't want it to stay stagnant. Yeah. Because I always do wonder, like. That is y'all sound. Like, why not right. embrace that and just ride it until you can't ride that shit no more? Nobody like, want to hear that no more. It <laughs> is what it is. Are, be cool. Are you rapping because you want to pay homage to this? Are you rapping because you want to be a star and make money and right. create culture and grow? Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't be stuck in the time. Them niggas would have elevated. They, they did elevate their music in their careers. Facts, facts. Them niggas started one way, and then when they, they, the older they got, they elevated more and more and more. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact. They didn't make the same exact sound as they did when they started. They stepped their balls up. They, they all wanted to get better. Right. So you think right now, if rest in peace, if Fat Pat was still rapping, you know who he'll be on the song with? That nigga be on the song with Sauce Walker. Facts. Harmonizing that shit on the hook and then go in the verse with a in the song with a killer ass verse. You know what I'm saying? Big Mo. Big Mo gonna come on a on a motherfucking Sauce Walker or whoever shit and and kill that motherfucker with all the young artists. You see what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So, so stamp two yeah. to three artists that you I mean, and don't let it be like a like Sauce Walker or yeah. shit like that. Stamp two to three niggas that you feel are underrated. I feel like propane. Is the most underrated nigga out of Houston, man. Yeah. Um, that's just me personally. But who do you think? Like, who are your? We said underrated. What we mean? Like they ain't getting no. Like, like they credit. should. Like, well, let's just say that they should be on to the point where people know about them, at least in Texas. And t- and, and it's like you know a nigga knows about Sauce Walker in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who are some people that just you know they hard, but they just ain't really just made it there yet. Look, well, that's tough right on the spot, man, because it's, it's a few. Who's the nigga in Houston who just be running shit and got bangers that nobody got? Every nigga who just really got to that point, niggas, they know who the fuck they is out here. Uh, okay, so let's say this. Yeah. Who's the next superstar? It's got to be between out of Houston. Out of Houston? You got to go with either... Hmm, fuck. Next superstar. I got to go with Lil Jeremy, one of them. I say Lil Jeremy could possibly yeah. just, you know, the image, the sound, the production with June the Genius, the, uh, you know, the wave, the look, everything, the relationships he got. I feel like Lil Jeremy could be a superstar out the H Town area. Uh, man, who else? Who else? Who else coming with some shit? Who on the South coming? OTB fast lane. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah. My bad. I should have been said OT. That's the nigga. OTB fast lane. I feel like OTB fast lane had um could really cause he got bangers, dog. He got bangers and before nah, this not- corona shit and like when he doing his shows, that nigga booked like consistently features everything. You know what I'm saying? OTB fast lane, one of them niggas where you can't even say this nigga's just a hundred percent Houston. Now that nigga making southern classic music you know what i'm saying right got his own sound don't nobody sound like him and if you try to sound like otb fast lane niggas gonna know you damn you taking that nigga style you know what i'm saying straight up facts facts yeah okay well you heard it here yeah. <laughs> urban politics OTB just fast lane come. he, 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 he the coming the jeremy coming yeah. it's so many niggas coming though and houston man i don't want to leave nobody out but they coming like a motherfucker uh really yeah I really had street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.